Hello friends, this video on statistics part 11 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Well, here uh, the graphical study by an organization for the cause of illness and death among the women between the 15 to 45 years worldwide found the following figures. These were the cause of illness and death, reproductive health system almost 31.8%. Neuropsychiatrist condition 25.4 condition percent, injuries 12.4 percent, cardiovascular condition 4.3, respiratory condition 4.1, and other cause by 22 percent. We have to represent this information graphically, and which is the major curve. See, if you see, this is just a frequency distribution. This is not a grouped or frequency distribution. So histogram and uh, the frequency polygon is not in picture. Right? What we can draw is we can just draw a bar graph. Okay, so what we'll do is this is a variable and these are values. So I'll draw a graph with the variables here: reproductive health, neuropsychiatrist, injuries, cardiovascular, respiratory, and others. And the values, the maximum value I see is 31.8. So I created a range here from 0 to 35 so that all the values can be accommodated. So for a productive system 31.8, so I'll draw a graph, I'll draw a bar of length 31.8. Here the only length is important because I'm drawing a bar graph. And why I'm drawing a bar graph? Because it is not a group data. That is the only possible scenario we have, option we have. Then neuro psychiatric condition 25.4. So I'll draw a bar of length 25.4. Then injuries 12.4. I'll draw a bar of length 12.4. Cardiovascular 4.3. I'll draw a bar of length 4.3, single respiratory 4.1, I'll draw a bar of length 4.1, and other spheres 22, I'll draw a bar of length 4.22. Here, please note the width of the bar is not important, only the length or the height of the bar is important, the space is also not important, right? Which condition is the major cause of illness or death? So we can see that, yes, the productive health condition is the major cause of death among women in the whole world. Okay, please note since it is just a frequency or ungrouped frequency distribution data, the only graphical uh, representation possible here is the bar graph. One more similar question represent this data graphically. So, here uh, we have been given the number of girls per thousand boys in different sections of society. Schedule cars, they are 940 girls per thousand boys. Schedule tribe, 970 girls per thousand boys. Non SCST, 920 girls per thousand boys. Backward district, 950 girls per thousand boys. Non backward district, 920 girls per thousand boys. Rural district, 930 girls per thousand boys. And urban, 910 girls per thousand boys. So it's a mix of girls and boys. So we have to represent this by a bar graph and see what we can include. So here, this is my variable. And this is the value. So we'll plot this in x and plot the values in y. So we'll plot the variable in x, and if you see the range I was looking for was some 900 to 940, 950. So if you see, I'll put a nick here because it is not 900, not a starting range, right? Starting should be zero. We'll put a nick here, and uh, I'll first draw a bar of height 940 or a C. Then a bar of 970 or ST, then a bar of height 920 or non SCST, okay. Then the bar of 950 backward district 950, you see height is 950, and bar of height 920 for again non backward district is for backward, is non backward, and then the bar of height 930 for rural 930 for rural is 930 height. And then urban 910 height. So if you see this height is 910, right? Similarly, this height is 930. Now, what we can include, we can see that just looking at the graph, we can see that this has the maximum. So schedule tribe ST has the maximum number of girls per thousand boys. And looking at the graph, we can see that 910. That is the urban people have minimum number of girls per thousand boys. Right? This is the bar representation of this data here. Given the seat won by different political parties in the election, we have to draw a bar graph and which party has won maximum seats. So there are five, one, two, three, six political party and the seats won. 
and right? so these are my variable political party is the variable and seat one is the value so what i'll do is i'll create a chart with the variable here on the x and the value on the y so variable are my a b c d e f party and the value if you see the range i'm looking for is maximum value is 75 seats so i'll create a scale i will i'll, I'll write the scale in such a way that i can accommodate 70 value as well so i have created the scale from 0 to 80 because i had to accommodate 70 also now for a party 75 votes so i'll create a bar of length 70 for a party for b party this is 75 right you see for b party 55 votes so i'll create a bar of length 55 see here 55 for b party for c party length 37 so i'll create a bar of length 37 almost here for d party length is 29 sorry seats are 29 so i'll create a bar of length 29 Similarly, E party uh, 10 seats, so I'll create a bar of almost 10 length. For F party, number of seats are 37, so I'll create a bar of 37. So there. Again, they are same actually. They are same, they are 37, 37, yes, they are same. And this is the bar graph. Looking at this, I can say that the party A has won maximum number seat, party E has won the minimum number of seat. Just by looking at the graph, I can say I don't even need to know the numbers. Right? This is the bar graph for this particular data. The question says the length of 40 leaves of the plants are measured. So a plant, maybe 40 leaves are measured, and the, we have asked to draw a histogram for this. The data is given. And is there any suitable graphical representation of the same data? And is this data is correct to conclude the maximum number of leaves on this? First, let's draw a histogram. For histogram, what we need? We need continuous frequency or continuous class. Right? We need a grouped frequency table with continuous class. You see here the class is not continuous, 126, 127, 135, 136. So first let's draw a continuous class. If you see the gap, gap here is what? 127 minus 126, that is 1. So we'll extend the gap 0.5 on this side, 0.5 on this side, because 0.5 is nothing but 1 by 2. So 118 becomes 118 minus 0.5, that is 117.5. And on the right side, this side will increase. So this becomes 126 plus 0.5, that is 126.5, and the difference is 3. So maybe 127 becomes 126.5, and 135 becomes 135.5. So on this side, we are subtracting 0.5, this side, we are adding 0.5, and this was 5. Only 136 becomes 135.5, 144 becomes 144.5, the value was 9. Similarly, 145 becomes 144.5. And this becomes 153.5 and the value is 12. Similarly, 154 becomes 153.5. This is 162.5 and the value is 5. Similarly, 163 subtract 0.5 becomes 162.5 to 171.5. The value is 4. Similarly, 172 becomes 171.5 to 180.5. The value is 2. So we can discard this table. Now using this, we'll create a histogram first. So let you see this is my variable and this is value. So we'll put the variable in x and value in y. So 117 to 126, I'll draw a rectangle of length 3. And please note here the class size for all is same. Nothing to worry. 3, right? Length 3. This is 3. Then the next is of length 5, 126.5 to 135.5, so length is 5, okay. Now length is 9 for this 135.5 to 144.5, this length is 9. Similarly 12 length for 144.5 to 153.5, this length is 12. 
then five length for 153.5 to 162.5 see same length five then 162.5 to 171.5 four length and then 171.5 to 180.5 we'll draw a bar of length two you see the width is also important here and they're all touching each other right? it's a continuous class so this is my histogram the question is, is it there a better way to represent this? Yes, we can represent using frequency polygon as well. So we can uh, put some dots here or the middle points and we can join them to get a frequency polygon. We can do that. Okay. So what is the conclusion? Can we conclude that the maximum number of leaves are 153 uh, meter long? We can't conclude. See, 153 meter long, we don't know. Maybe, see, this is the range of one. See, 144.5 to 153.5 is the maximum range. That is correct. But it may be that all these are 145 millimeter long or 146 millimeter long. It is not correct to conclude that the maximum number of leaves is 153 millimeter long. It is good to conclude that the maximum number of leaves are of the range 144.5 to 153.5. That is okay to conclude. But it is not correct to conclude that the maximum number of leaves are exactly of 153 millimeter long. Okay, so this statement is not correct. So here, uh, data is given for the lifetime of 400 neuron lamps, and we have to represent this with a histogram. And how many lamp, uh, lamps have light more than 700? So the classes are already given. The class are continuous, and uh, let's see the class size. 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100. All the class size 100. Upper limit minus lower limit, all the class size 100. So we don't have to manipulate this frequency. So this is variable and this is value. So let's put the variable in the x, y and value in the y. The values I have is maximum of 86. So I have put the numbers in the range of 90, 10, 30, 50, 70, 90, something like that. Right? And, uh, And uh, let's put the values now. So first is from 300 to 400, I have 14 lamps. So 300 to 400, 14. Please note that I'm not a put a kick uh, nick here because this is all continuous. This length is 100, this length is 100, this length is 100. There is no uh, nick here. So 300 to 400, 14. Then 56 for 400 to 500. So let's draw a histogram or bar graph, bar of length 56. This is 56 somewhere here. And for length 60, 500 to 600. This is 60 somewhere here. Okay. Then length of 86 or 600 to 700. This is almost 86 somewhere here. Okay. And then 74 for 700 to 800, this is 74, then this is 74, then 62 length for 800 to 900, this is 62, and then 48 length for 900 to 1000. And this is the histogram we have. Number of lamps more than 700 life, so we need to add these, we need to add these, so you add these three, 74 plus 62. Plus 48, what you get is 184. So 184 lamps has life expectancy of more than 700. So using this data, the company can claim that okay, this is the typical average life of this pulp. Okay. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.